Phoenix Big Sound PB9 kit has everything you need to install sound inside your large-scale garden train locomotive. The PB9 board is smaller than the previous 2K2 system and expands upon the capabilities of that board. The PB9 will run on DC, DCC, and battery. The PB9 has twice the memory of the 2K2, which means they had room to add and expand the sounds, increasing the realism of your sound experience. Make sure you return the warranty card to get your product registered. The PB9 is a high quality electronic device that comes with even higher input voltage tolerances to keep pace with the larger trains and the bigger power supplies. The PB9 is a little board with a lot of big features. It also is protected against improper wiring and over voltage gremlins that can damage other boards. Each PB9 board is tested at the factory, but they suggest that you hook it up on your workbench, play with the system, and get comfortable with it before you install the components. So that's what we'd like to show you here. We'll hook up the power supply, the speaker, some of the components, and show you exactly how a PB9 works. There are five different connectors located on the board. We'll take a look at the first one that's labeled 1 through 6. You will use ports 1 and 2 to put your wires that go to the controller. Now the controller can hook up to a battery or a power supply, but these should be the wires that have the same voltage that is varying to control the speed of your engine. There is also a volume switch. This is a momentary toggle switch that goes in two directions. One will be for increasing the volume, the other will be for reducing the volume. It is already pre-soldered and the wires go into 3, 4, and 5. If later when you're testing and you find out that you can only increase the volume and not decrease the volume, you may have accidentally put the wires into 4, 5, 6. So just power everything off and move the wires back to 3, 4, and 5. At the other end of the board, you'll find a connector labeled 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. This is where you can attach switches to trigger some of the features of the board. The kit comes with a couple reed switches with two wires. One wire will attach either to the 7, 8, 9, or 10, and the second wire will attach to the 11. We're going to attach two different reed switches, 8 and 9, to affect the bell and the horn. Then we'll take the second wire from each reed switch and combine them together to go into number 11, which is the ground for triggering the events. You can trigger up to four different events and they're programmable using the computer interface. Our third connector is for the speaker and it is located behind the terminal strip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The kit comes with a speaker that's appropriate for the sound and the engine that you've ordered. The speaker is pre-wired with a connector. There is also a cable that has a connector on each end to go from the board to the speaker. They are keyed so that you cannot plug them in incorrectly. You plug the cable into the speaker and then that cable plugs directly into the board. Our fourth and fifth connectors are used for a computer interface cable and a battery backup that is used by the PB9 soundboard. The computer cable allows you, if you purchase the optional USB interface, to change and alter the settings of your board using a simple software program on your PC. You just plug the cable into the board. The battery backup is used so that the board can continue to run when voltage drops below 6 volts. The battery is charged by the board with maximum charging occurring at about 8 volts. 30 minutes will bring the battery up to normal operation, while 2 hours will give you a full charge. Well, it's all hooked together. Let's see if it works. Most sounds play automatically based on train speed. The crossing whistle sequence plays when you reach the whistle horn play speed.
The reed switches that you would place underneath the engine would allow you to locate magnets on your track to activate the sounds of bell, horn, or whistle. Here we'll go through a sequence of powering down the engine. You can hear the sounds change as the engine slows down, and then at one point we'll cut power and the board will be running off the battery. The Phoenix PB9 Sound Kit is a great way to get started adding sound to your large-scale garden train engine. And it's a board that can grow with you. As you become more experienced, you can take full advantage of the dozens of different features that are available to you.